that song play too long. I was getting into it. And then I tried to click in and look at the video at the same time. It overplayed itself. <laughs> What's up, y'all? Good to have you. I'm glad you're tuning in. I hope you you paying attention to some things uh, that's being taught. Uh, it's so much I've been hearing today going on in the world. That's why I, I like to give y'all scripture of our vision statement. And it's Colossians 3, 1 and 2. It says, if then you have been raised with Christ, seek the things that are above where Christ is. And seated at the right hand of God. Set your mind on the things above and not on the things on this earth. Y'all get what I'm saying? Get what the scripture saying. Set your mind on the things that are on above. Not on the things on this earth. Because, uh... The things on this earth is is a is going to be a real big distraction to us, to what what God wants from us and and what what we really need to be paying attention to. We're not going to be paying attention to it because we're going to be looking at everything else, and uh, and so Satan has gotten busy with that. Let me just pray for y'all real quick. Lord, thank you for what you've done today. Thank you for waking us up this morning, putting us in our right mind. Thank you for covering us with your glory and, and with your anointing and, and with your power and your healing power. God, I ask that you cover all those who are working in the medical field in any any uh, way that they are. God, I ask that you cover them and keep them, God, and give them strength. And, and just bless us in this world as we try to live and make it along so we can see you one day. So we give you glory, honor, and praise in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Mm -hmm. Listen, I, I'm not going to even hold you all long. I, I'm going to go over what I went over on on Sunday. And and the title of my sermon is, is TNT. Uh, you're about to blow up spot. Basically, uh, when you're a threat, you become a target. And, and, and when, when you're a threat to, to, to Satan, that's when he starts targeting you uh, because he feels like you are a threat to everything that's going on around him. And, and it's the same thing with other people. When they feel like you are a threat, that's when you become a target. But to flip this TNT thing around, not only when, or when you're a threat, you become a target, but it also means that you have, you've been tested and, and then you'll have a testimony. <laughs> T and T. Let me tell you the scripture. It's Ephesians 6 and 13. It says, therefore, put on the full armor of God so that when the day of evil comes, you may be able to stand your ground after you have done everything to stand. We all know that scripture and we know uh, we hear it and, and we say, oh, put on the full arm of God. And, and I'm not going to preach on that whole sermon. I have a sermon for that, uh, the full, putting on the full arm of God, the chest place of righteousness, the, the helmet of salvation. Those things, but just put on the full arm of God because you're going to be tested and tried. And right now, you, you have something in you that's going to be able to blow up the spot. And, and that's the Holy Spirit. And TNT, and TNT really stands for Tritonitrotulian. Trinitrotulian is a high explosive form uh, formed from tulian and, and a substitution of nitro uh, groups uh, with three different hydrogen atoms that creates a bomb. Well, you have three different atoms inside of you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, and you're about to blow up some stuff. Now, when I say you're going to blow up the spot, I, I ain't talking about the club. I, I said that Sunday. I don't want nobody to get confused uh, about what we're going to blow up. But I'm speaking in the spiritual realm, in, inside of you, what, what's going to burst out of you. And, 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 and when it comes out, uh, you're going to burst on the scene with power and strength and anointing. And, and today, I, I just want to talk about that strength that God has given you to endure in tough times like this. Because some of us don't even know what we have inside of us because nobody's ever brought it out. And, and I'm trying to tell you right now, stand on the word of God. This is a good time to stand on his word. Be strong. And even though you are a threat and he's targeting you, listen, don't get weak. Don't fall off because what other people say. I want to speak to those who feel like they can't ever get ahead. Because it's always something, some kind of force is blocking your way. But believe me, believe me, I know we all go through it. We all go through the same thing and we all get the same results. We be frustrated and we don't know what to do. And, but you know what? I was talking to somebody today. And the truth about it is, you know, that's why God always tells us to have faith the size of a mustard seed. Why, why, why even be worried if, if you know, if we're going to trust in God? So uh, we just put our faith to the test. You've been tested, and then you should have a testimony out of it. 
and I think you're gonna blow up the spot and see. So, you know, in your emergency situations, when when you feel like you don't know what you're gonna do, trust in God. It's something that He's already put in you that you know that you're gonna make it out of this thing. And 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 the stronger you get, the that's more when you become a, a problem for the devil. And I'm speaking literally. Not speaking literally about the bum, but spiritually, people will not be able to miss the power that God has put inside of you. So, regardless of how they don't like you, I, I said this Sunday, it's so funny because most people, we cool and folk, you know, look at us at a certain way. And we think everybody like us. Well, <laughs> I can tell you that ain't the truth. <laughs> Nowhere near it. Uh, I don't care how nice you be. I don't care how you help folk. I don't have care how you've been nice to folk. I don't care if you even look really nice. Uh, somebody don't like you for some reason, and and that's on them. But I, I I don't I don't want you to trip about it. It's part of life. We all go through it. They didn't even like Jesus, and they had no reason. He was healing folk and, and, and bringing people back from the dead, and they still didn't care. They they still hung him. So take that with a grain of salt and don't even worry about it, cause. Uh, you know you're going to be strong. So if they lie on you, that means that you're being a threat. If they come against you come some kind of way and they like to see you fall, uh, that's all a part of you being this threat to Jesus, That I mean to, to Satan, that he, he can't stand. And Jesus loved that you're on his side. <laughs> let, me, let me put it that way. So, so try to stand when others want you to fall. All you can do is stand. You know, you're going to be a great asset to the kingdom. Uh, sometimes it's it's gonna be uncomfortable because you're gonna make some people feel like you've been rude or ruffled their feathers just because you you want to stand for righteousness. I had this situation even last night, uh, just having a conversation with some of my family. You know when you when you don't like a certain thing anymore and that you just feel like it ain't it ain't conducive to what God would want. You know, people get offended by that, and 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 I don't, I don't think they 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 I don't know. When you start changing, people start looking at you like you think you better, and that's not the case. It's just something that it, that God has put inside of you that uh, don't want you to sin no more. You don't want to be conformed anymore. You want to be transformed, and that's okay. That's when you become a threat to Satan's kingdom, and 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 he gets upset, and so then he starts targeting you like you've done something wrong. Well, you didn't. Let let the holy boldness that God put inside of you stand and, and, and keep moving. Uh, and, and don't worry about these things. I don't care what's going on. Take a stand and just keep moving away from sin. Because in the end, everybody that don't, going to have to take accountability for you. But if you do, that's what you ought to be worried about is, is what I talk about in Colossians 3, 1 and 2. You know, think about the things that are above and not the things on this earth. I'm not here to try to please people just because of what they like and, and what I, you know, is morally against, you know. So I, I, I don't trip about it, and I, I don't trip about what they do. It's, it's, that's them. It's you or you. Just change. That's all I'm saying. If people are not going to like it. They want you to be who you used to be. Like what, what they like. <laughs> but I can keep telling you. Don't be conformed. Be transformed. You stand when times get rough. You stand when people don't agree. You stand when times get hard. You stand when there's confusion. Everybody's not going to agree with you and you're not going to agree with everybody. And that's that's fine. Everybody can have their own opinion. But try to stand for righteousness. That's all I can tell you. You're about to be a threat because you're blowing up the spot and turning lives around. And, 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 and if they don't see it now, they will eventually see it. You know, what you may say may offend them at the time, but sooner or later, they may come back and be like, you know what, you said something to me three years ago, and I thought about it, and you was right. So, but uh, keep in mind that you are also about to be a target, though, when that happens. So even when you've messed up, Satan is going to try to hold you accountable and and keep your mind in a guilty place from stuff that happened 30 years ago. Listen, forgive yourself just like you forgive your brothers and sisters and, 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 and keep moving on because God forgives us. That's what's so funny is he'll forgive us quicker, but people do not forgive that quick. You know, you can do anything to them. That's what it says in Matthew 18, 21 and 22. 
If you go to Matthew 18, 21 and 22, it said, Then Peter came to him, which is Jesus, and said, Lord, how often shall my brother and sister sin against me and I forgive him? Up to seven times? Jesus said to him, I do not say up to seven times, but up to 70 times, seven. I said, good dog. You know, that's a whole lot of forgiving. But if somebody comes to me asking, keep asking, you got to keep forgiving. You can't hold it against you. Same thing with yourself. You also need to forgive yourself. Just as many times as you ask God to forgive you, then forgive yourself. You know, God God knows your heart, and, and if you're earnest and, and you repent, God doesn't remember it anymore. So so don't let the devil keep throwing it in your face. Because he's the only one that's going to keep bringing it up. You ain't going to bring it up. God ain't going to bring it up. But he'll keep putting it in your mind, and you'll keep doing stuff. Stand, even when you don't know what to do. I guarantee you, God will, will make a way for you. So the armor that you have around you makes you a walking bomb. I was talking about this. So uh, even if your bomb goes off, it's not going to hurt you. But it, what's going to happen is it's going to blow up. And everything that anything and everybody that's around you is going to see the Spirit of God all over you and what God has put inside of you. And when the bomb goes off, it, it's, it's not to hurt anybody. But it, 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 the blast is going to shoot out seven spirits of God. That's the Spirit of God. The, the wisdom of God, understanding of God, the counsel uh, with him will come out of you. The might of God and the knowledge of God and, and the fear of God, the reverence is going to come out and, and people are going to see it. And then I, I was talking about what uh, in 1 Corinthians 15 and 58 says, be stat steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. So you don't have to worry about your work being in vain if you stand on God. You're about to blow up the spot. People are going to be shocked. And they ain't gonna know what to do. They they don't know even how to take you, cause they they can't believe that that you ain't like what you used to be. But they shouldn't either. So that's why you should stand. Don't don't fall in line with them, cause I'm gonna tell you the truth. Right now, there's a lot of people with with, with their mindset. They they gonna be on their way to hell. Uh, and the sad thing is, don't get me wrong. They gonna have a chance to repent and make it. But for the most part, that's where they on their way to. If, if some things don't change. So you need to stand. And Jeremiah 29 11 says, For I know the thoughts I think towards you, says the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you an expected end. God wants us all to have an expected end. Even even, even presidents that act a fool and, 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 and folk that act crazy and climb walls and stuff. He, he wants all of them. He, he loves them all. But I'm telling you, some of these people are going straight to hell if they don't get themselves together. In the book of Jeremiah, he he was talking about this, Jeremiah 8 and 22. If you ever look up this, this scripture, Jeremiah 8 and 22, he said, Is there no balm in Gilead? Is there no physician there? Why why then is there no recovery for the health and, and for the daughter of my people? Well, a balm, it, it's, it's, it's a rare perfume that can also uh, have uh, healed the wounded that are sick. Well, not only will you blow up the spot, but when you do blow up, the sweet fragrance is going to come out of you too. And, and it's going to heal all the people that with their sin sick souls. So, I, I, I you know, I, I, I often laugh because a lot of preachers, they, they don't like to hear certain preachers that just always preaching good stuff and, and always happy. Man, but in this day and time, I want to encourage somebody to, to live their best life, be the best they can. And, and when you go out and see other people, you, you know that you're not alone in this, this fight. You, you're not standing by yourself. So why not be the bomb? Why not be the person? Why not be the bomb? I'm the bomb. Hey. Why not be the person that's going to blow it up and help somebody? You know, you don't have to worry about what people say and, and how they're going to look at you. No, be different. Let me tell you another scripture. Isaiah 41 and 10 says, So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. God is saying, listen, I got your back. If you stand for me, I'm standing for you. Exodus 15 and 2 says, The Lord is my strength and my song. He has given me victory. He is my God. Who else am I going to trust in? Who am, uh, am I going to put my trust in? It's nobody but but Jesus. I appreciate everything he's done. Romans 8 and 31. Let me give you this scripture. What then shall we say to these things? If God be for us, then who can be against us? I want to encourage you 
not to worry about the naysayers. Don't worry about the people that don't see your vision. They don't see the strength inside of you until you blow up and you start speaking. And then sometimes it ain't even about your words. It's about the walk you walk and the way you stand. People are going to see that your life has changed. Go and be the strength that someone else needs. Even if you're going to be the target and, 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 and people are going to come after you, you're going to spare some other people from having to go through the situations that can be avoided just because of what you've been through. God allowed you to go through some things because he knew you can handle it. And everybody is different. Everybody put, he, he doesn't put too much on you that you can't handle. Some of us have been through some stuff. <laughs> And, and trying to handle some stuff. And you're like, God, I don't know if I can handle it. But we came out of it all right. And although it was embarrassing and hurtful, and, and, and he, he knew just who you were and, and how you were going to make it. Because he did it for Job. Job stood. Even, and Job hadn't even done nothing. And, 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 and Dave, the, the devil went after him and, and got on him. He, he, and David, I mean, he was a man after God's own heart. And all the stuff he did... God still loved him, and he was a fighter. You know, it, it's something inside of you. Just like he going to give you wisdom, just like he did Solomon. And, 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 and some people say Socrates was the wisest man on the earth. The Bible was talking about Solomon, but then Socrates came. But listen, he wants to bless you just like some of these people that's in the Bible, just like Ruth and, 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 and Esther and Rachel. He wants to do that, you know. So go and be, be that TNT. Go and blow up the spot. Have a test and have a testimony. And when your testimony comes out, people are going to see it. And then they'll know why you've been going through it so much. You've been a target because you've been a threat. Because you were able to overcome. Uh, you have something in you that you probably never knew was there. And now God is bringing it out all through these tests and these testimonies. But uh, because no one has poured it out of you yet, you just ain't seen it. That's all. This is exactly what Satan wants from you. Never to be a threat to him because you choose to be a target. He doesn't want you to be a threat to him. So anytime some stuff happens, he wants you to run and go be quiet and be silent. Well, this ain't the time to do it. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, try something new in 2021. Be a bolder Christian. Stand for what you believe in. And, and, and don't worry about what people say because they ain't going to agree with you. Right is right. Wrong is wrong. You know, try to stand with right, you know. I stand for God. I stand for Christ. Tell people. I, I, I stand for the Holy Spirit. Now, just go blow up the spot wherever you go. If it's at your job, if it's in the store, let people see the Christ in you. Your anointing is, is not for yourself. It, it, it's not for you to be selfish and walk around and act pious, but it's for others to be blessed by you and, and, and to grow. I, I always talk about the blessings of God. This is him blessing you to be a blessing to somebody else this is god working through you to bless somebody else be be that blessing as some for, to some other people i know you're a target just remember you know the, the reason you're a target is because satan thinks you're a threat to him and and that's that's a compliment to god <laughs> <laughs> now let me tell you just how you're going to do it in proverbs 4 and 20 uh 24 through 27 it says keep your mouth free from perversity do do your best not to talk crazy and act crazy with people keep corrupt talk from your lips 25 says let your eyes look straight ahead fix your gaze direct directly before you keep your eyes on the prize so you can keep moving 26 says give careful thought to the path for your feet and be steadfast in all your ways. Basically, I, when I was talking to some of my family, I, I was saying like, we got to be careful of what we get into when we say that we, we're people of God and men of God. The path that we take can hinder other people from getting getting to heaven just because we're doing the wrong, what looks like may be the wrong thing, you know. We can't get conformed to what the world does and think that it's okay. It's all about money and everything. No, we just can't do it. We can't live that way. Do not turn to the right or to the left, but keep your foot from evil. That's uh, Proverbs 4, 24 through 27. And listen, I, I want to let you know, you got something in you. you. You are the bomb. Go blow up the spot. Use what God has put inside of you. You know, I know you, you're going to be a threat and you're going to be a target, but... 
You're going to have a test and you're going to have a testimony as well. So Ephesians 6 and 13 says, Therefore put on the full arm of God so that, that when the evil days come, you may be able to stand to your ground. And after you've done everything, you can stand. And the reason we do this is because of Romans 10 and chapter 9. It says that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and, and shalt believe in that heart that God has raised him from the dead, then thou shalt be saved. And I want you to be saved. And as and, and long as you are, that's a good thing. And it's more to it after you get salvation into you because we, we want you to be baptized. We want you to be born again. We want you to stand right and live right and, and move away from sin. So I appreciate y'all taking the time. I, I hope I didn't take up too much of your time. That was very quick. I just want to reiterate what God said. And uh, if you want to, you can go to our website at www.highgroundcc.net. I'm, I'm claiming it that God is going to be sending some people my way to help with with some of this uh, uh, internet things and 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 cash apps and and I want an app for the church. I, I I already know God is getting ready to do it. If you'd like to give us a blessing and and be a blessing to the church, uh, it's money sign high ground CC. That's on the cash app. Uh, we'll we'll appreciate anything you send. So let's pray real quick. Lord, thank you for your word. Thank you for your anointing over the people. Bless the people of God. Uh, anoint them. Let no sickness, no hurt, harm, or danger come to them. Let finances uh, bloom in their lives, God. And bless them with everything that they need, God, that nothing falls and nothing fails in their lives, God. Watch over their kids. Watch over their family. We love you. We praise you. And we glorify you in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Amen. Thank you all for tuning in. Uh, I will catch you all on Sunday. I hope everything is going well with you. Uh, so God bless y'all. Y'all have a good night.